surgery both eyes kudungwa sindano kukatwa kudungwa sindano kwa macho ndani what eh so nika macho ika ikaendelea endelea na ikakuwa sawa at least saa hii naiona but kukiwa na light mingi na kusumbua eh kama sunlight inanisumbua anga sana okay Ndoke se olwa video hii ya tatu kwako nuse wa mutinda teraso wala tudilia na mumba petrol station school masivitali wala tikia tiles ceiling cabro traso na inge mbinge na watu kunye simu kuisila nambani hii umyeneva and vatinino ndo hithi ma mutinda teraso installation master Tivo ni kuondo wako ilelia mawidi uloko maku. Hello my good people and welcome back again to Rick B TV. Leo tuko na Kims Online Media na Waweru TV na leo tuko na mgeni wetu na ni vizuri aje introduce atuambie ametokea wapi eh, anafanya shughuli ipi na ni nini hasa imemleta ndani ya interview today. So wacha atuambie majina na natokea wapi. Habari yako? Mzuri sana. Mm, kwa majina unaitwa aje umetokea wapi? Naitwa Eric Munyao mm. kutoka Makueni. Okay. County Mbone East okay. sub county mm. wa hiyo ward nice Kavengo location okay uko uko ndo nyumbani mm. uko ndo umesomea kidogo unaweza tupe historia yako ya masomo kidogo tu mm. nilisomea Mbiti primary school okay kutoka hapo nika join Changondo high school okay uh, kutoka Changondo nikaenda Maseno University oh wow kafanya political science with oh, IT oh, wow. for years okay eh uh, that's what uh, which year uli uli join the university which year 2016 2016 eh. like for now how old are you i'm um, 28 28 years eh. old okay eh. so umesoma political science and IT eh political oh. science with IT Maseno university okay eh. that's nice eh. so eh hebu kidogo tuelezee ndo watu waelewe the reason tuko hapa after sasa kusoma university what happened mm, after shule mm. that is maseno yeah. eh, nilikuwa na shida kidogo ya kimwili mm. ambayo ilinipeleka peleka hivi yenye mm. uh, ni ugonjwa mm. ya figo okay eh, mm enye inaitwa kidney failure. Okay. So my both kidneys failed. The board. Yeah, okay. both kidneys. Mm. After school. Okay, that's after ume graduate umemaliza masomo. Uh, And which year is that? 20 issue ilianzia hapo 2020 hiyo mwaka ya corona. Mm. Lakini ikavumilia tu mm. kidhani ni ile ugonjwa ya kawaida tu. Kawaida. Uh, oh, at, at that period were you going to hospital? Ni ile tu unajikaza tu kimwanaume. Unakuwa na hospital nasema tu hiyo itapona itapona kumbe oh, huko unaenda hospitali eh yeah. hmm. hmm. na ulikuwa unajua shida ni nini yani ulikuwa una feel aje ulikuwa na feel tu ile fatigue ya kawaida kuchoka kuchoka unaamka hmm. unatapika asubuhi <laughs> eh yeah. hmm. so that's hiyo uh, wakati umemaliza shule ulikuwa na sweat sana yeah. hmm. kusweat sana hiyo hmm. hmm. wakati ulikuwa uh, shule ulikuwa unaenda ilikuwa nimemaliza shule hmm. Hmm. So the ile serious sasa ilianza mwaka ipi? 2021 June. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So can you narrate the story to you ilikuwaaje? Mm. Ilikuwa I remember the date ilikuwa 15th of June mm. 2021. Okay. Eh, yeah. nikiwa mm. tu hapa kitengela. Okay. Eh, yeah. nikaanza kusikia uchovu, uchovu mm. imekuwa mingi, mm. kutapika asubuhi, mm. kusweat. Mm unapata siwezi panda stairs mm. nikifika stairs ya floor ya pili mm. nasikia nimechoka na kaa chini kwanza okay eh sasa ikaendelea hivyo nikaona niende nyumbani kidogo mm. mm. sinojua kwa mzazi ndio <laughs> unachungwa vizuri eh uko ndo kila kitu eh nikarudi kwa mzazi kwanza mm. unaweza karibia hii side kidogo unaweza karibia eh anisaidie mm. kidogo mm. eh kufika nyumbani ikakuwa ile tu pia unajikaza si unajua kuwa first born lazima ujikaze you are the first born eh yeah, i'm the first born in a family of four okay yeah mm. 
wako wanne watoto mm. walozi wawili okay. uh, so ikaendelea hivyo nikiwa nyumbani mm. miguu sasa ikaanza nayo kufura na shangaa kwani <laughs> mambo imekuwa aje. at that moment ulikuwa may notice what is the problem nilikuwa watu walikuwa nasema nimekuwa mweusi mm nime nime gain weight mwingine <laughs> normal ulikuwa mkubwa sana eh yeah. like okay si. initially nilikuwa mkubwa mm. but uh, siku na ile inaitwa edema mm. kufura au oh, ulikuwa na fura sana eh yeah. mm. watu wanani but mimi eh, siku wana realize mm. so akaniambia mm. siku hizi heri kum bona nafanya kazi gani umefura mm. nakaa umejaza mm so mimi siko najua shida ni nini mm. na umekuwa mweusi mm. eh wananiambia nimekuwa mweusi initially ulikuwa maupe eh mm. yani brownie <laughs> <The> chocolate <laughs> eh mm. eh so nikaamua hapa lazima sasa ujipee nguvu jiwe ni mwanaume mm. na pia ni fast bull mm. lakini kakuja kujua ugonjwa mm. inaanga mwanaume eh, ina... at, at that time were you working ulikuwa unafanya any job eh nilisimamisha shughuli zangu kwanza nishughulikie mwili oh, eh, okay. eh, mm. so nikaamua hiyo sasa hapo nilimekuambia nikaenda nyumbani mm. maadhe akua mm. so ikabidi pia akuje juu amesikia mm. ukiona eri kako nyumbani jue jue kuna kitu iko sawa okay. eh mm sasa mzee akamwambia akuje mm. akaambia maze bwende uone kwa nini Eric na si kawaida mm. mm. na tangu mkuu mtoto sijaikuwa mgonjwa na wewe ulikuwa unaiona kama tu kitu normal ilikuwa nadhani tu ni ile tu ka fever inapita mm. ama ugonjwa tu ya kawaida eh, mm. so ikafikia nikaenda nikiwa nyumbani vile niliona imewasen mm. cuz initially mm. i was diagnosed with h pylori okay eh juu ya hiyo urea mm. accumulation of urea mm. ndio ilikuwa inafanya hiyo kidonda vile mm. nilienda test wakasema mm. ni h pylori mm-hmm. ikap test positive mm. so after that mm. nikapewa ile kit ya h pylori kit mm. ile madawa kubwa hivi okay. nikameza hiyo wiki ikaisha mm. Mm, after that unajua hiyo dawa bila unaimeza kama si ya uh, alsas hiyo h pylori ndio inaendeleanga ku, kuasen situation yenu huko okay. so issue ika develop Kwasen. na ikawasen hmm. so nikasema hebu ah, niende tawa hmm. hospital eh hospital hmm. iko pande ya nyumbani huko okay. makueni hmm ikaenda mm. wakanipima pressure wakaniambia iko 232 i remember it was 232 mm. over 119 okay. eh mm. wakaniambia niko na ulcers okay. na hii ulcers ilikuwa ina test juu ya ile kidonda inko iko hapo iko kwa nini ya urea okay mimi nikapewa dawa za ku, kutuliza hiyo nini kidonda iache kuuma na ndani so nikufika nikarudi nyumbani unapata natapika kutapika sana na sikuli so kila kitu napewa inatoka tu inatoka juu ya hiyo kidonda hiyo kidonda iwezi sustain kukaa na kitu hapo so kaendelea hivi nikaona nimeanza kutapika damu eh juu ya ile kidonda ina nikitapika hiyo kidonda ina ina kompresiwa damu inatoka mm. eh mm. so nikaona acha ni vumilie tu itaisha nikakunywa kunywa hizo dawa nikidhani itaisha mm. kukula matunda beetroots mm. carrots mm. eh mm. advice hizo zilikuwa mingi mm. eh so nikasema mm. hii issue ni kama inawasen kuna rafiki yangu anaitwa Alex mm. akaniambia hebu twende hospitali mbumbune sasa mm. mbumbune hospital mm. tukafika wakanipima mm. wakaniambia mm. natakikana na, 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 kufanyiwa kitu naitwa OGD mm. wajue shida ni nini ya hiyo kidonda mm. so unajua hii kidonda imeletwa na urea mingi mm. accumulation of urea in the body mm. ndio inachoma hapo kwa tumbo mm. 
au kufika mbumbune naambiwa ati tunaenda sasa ni rifaro ikakuwa rifaro mm. ya kuendea OGD wote makueni level 4 mm. kufika makueni sasa wakanitoa damu tena wafanye hizo test from the sample unaweza karibia kidogo mm. utumie ukiketi anatajikaza tu <laughs> so wakapima hizo samples i think zilipelae kwa hospitali nyingine hapo inaitwa Arafa mm zikakuja kuna kitu inaitangwa crate 9 mm. sasa ndio ilikuwa juu zaidi mm. ilikuwa 4700 wow. eh, na inafaa at normal range mm. inafaa ikuwe around 105 waliniambia mm. inafaa ikuwe one, less than 120 mm. yeah. kwa mtu mwenye afanya hizi jobs ngumu ngumu mm. naelewa mm. eh. so mm. so results zikakuja wakaniambia hata wewe una alsas na hakuna kitu inakaa alsas kwa mwili yako mm. but shida ni your kidneys have failed mm. eh daktari mwanamke akaniambia figo zako zina fail zisha fail mm. sana mm. na zimeharibika mm. mm. eh, so ikabidi sasa tukaendelea hivyo nikalazwa tu hapo kwa kashot cause it was a referral mm. nikalazwa hapo So unaona marafiki wangu wakitengela. Mm. Bila walisikia nime nimewekwa kwa ambulance kutoka mbumbuni tu wote. Na wakakuja, wakatoka. Juu wanashangaa huyu jamaa tumekuwa na yeye mm. hajii kuwa mgonjwa. Mm. Eh, okay. So samples test zikafanyika. Mm. Nimetulia tu hapo casualty. Mm. I mean nimetulia tu najua sasa madhena haya yamefika ametoka Nairobi. Mm sana shangaa na niniaje mm. <laughs> mm. okay. so ikaendelea ikaendelea mm. nikiwa tu hapo nilikuwa na simu yangu nifanye shughuli zangu mm. so ni ile tu unajikaza mm. daktari anakuambia hii situation yako mm. ni mbaya sana ah. uko wali mbaya sana mm. na hizo figo zako mm. cause with a crate nine of 4700 mm. na yure ya 75 niko na hizo nini hapa pia tutaonyesha unaweza tu mm. so the first i think hiyo ya kwanza hiyo mm. nini ya kwanza iko tu hapa unaweza mm. sijui kama itaonekana vizuri nini imeandikwa 49.6 eh hiyo mm. mm. sasa ni urea after some dialysis okay. hiyo hii hapa si unaona 40 sorry ilikuwa 4 42 that one you need 39 okay eh yeah. mm. but sasa hata normal range mm. ina five cool around 105 mm. the mtu mwenye afanya hizi kazi kubwa kubwa, kubwa, kubwa ama zinachosha yeah a lot of man work mm. so tukaendelea hivi hiyo mm. sasa vile imekuja hii kitu mm. wakatuambia figo zimeharibika zote zote mm. na zinaonyeshana ziko wali mbaya sana. Mm. So nikauliza what next? Kaniambia nikae hapo mm. kuna dawa waliniwekea lines. Mm. Kuna lines saba, sindano saba zilikuwa zimedungwa huko. Wow. Za maji, sijui mm. ni nini, parasita mo. Mm. Eh, okay. ni okay. But nakumbuka hizo sindano zilikuwa saba, mm. kuna huko na huko nilikuwa. Okay. So ikafikia kuna daktari alikuja sasa mm. saa tisa mm. akaniambia akaniuliza kama niko na NHIF nikamwambia yes mm. niko nayo lakini mm. sijakuwa nikilipia mm. unajua wewe unachukua tu lakini unasema hautakuwa mgonjwa hauta mm. hautalipia okay ewe <laughs> so yanaohimiza watu mlipe nilipange NHIF okay na mwenye ana achukue inasaidianga okay so kamwambia yangu iko na issue mm. but uh, tutasort mm. akaniambia ugonjwa ya figo mm. si ugonjwa inapona mm. na kesho yake ama wiki moja mm. ni kitu ina take long mm. mpaka ziamuke na after kama umeadmitiwa lazima utatoka mm. uende dialysis before hiyo kidney sasa mm. ipik mm. eh yeah. so hapo akasema sasa cause nilikuwa naogopa kuadmitiwa mm. <laughs> but at long last i was admitted at what eh for mm. two months 
wote eh for two months for two months so after kwenda kurudi tena nyumbani hapana nilikaa hapo for two months for two months nikifanya cause hii situation ya great na na urea yeah. zilikuwa juu thing. sana yeah. eh mpaka wazilete chini eh wakaniambia hiyo urea ndio yeah. ilikuwa imechoma ile kido Kido. kidonda mm. ika inafanya nitapike damu mm. yeah. na hiyo crate na ndio inafanya miguu ifure na nikuwe nichoke ni haraka mm. yeah. so kutoka hapo daktari wa it was almost around 5 mm. 5 pm mm. na daktari mwingine mwanaume akakuja mm. akanipima sukari na pressure okay. kaniambia ziko sawa mm but sasa mm. akaniambia figo yangu imeharibiwa na hypertension unajua kuna waliniambia kuna juu yangu ilikuwa CKD HTN mm. ina maana ya chronic mm. kidney disease mm. HTN mm. ni mambo na hypertension mm. eh yeah. mm. so akaniambia itakuwa sawa mm. au oh, akaniambia ni lalale hapo kashoti wani monte mm. So kufikia saa tatu tena mm. wakakuja wakanipima tena sukari mm. cause walikuwa nadhani wananiambia usishtuke ndio kama unakuanga na sukari isiende juu isiende juu ama chini mm. akamwambia mimi sinanga issue na sukari wakaconfirm mm. so kufikia saa tano hapo wakakuja wakaniambia wanataka kuniweka catheter mm. ya mkojo sasa mm akaniweka. Mm. And now kuna sasa vile walisema naekwa catheter ingine sasa mm. eh, ya dialysis. Mm. So na hiyo haikuwa lazima itoke Nairobi. Okay. Ifike ndio niweke mm. na since nilikuwa kwa Limbaya hiyo mm. catheter ikatumanishwa haraka. Wakasema wasipeane kwa G4S mm. ikuje iletwe na sijui nilisahau walisema iletwe. Kuna mtu alipewa akaambiwa make sure imeenda ni ikienda na G4S hiyo gari inapita pita iki drop mm. ni zingine mm. so kufikia hapo after nimeyakwa kadeta kuna ingine inaitangwa temporary kadeta sasa hiyo niko ya mkojo sasa mm. so after na sasa hiyo mkojo inatoka tu vizuri hapana sasa so, so waliniuliza wali kama nakojoa mimi nilikuwa naona tu ni ile kadogo tu kadogo au kuna kojoa eh mm ile kadogo tu mm. so akaniambia tunakuweka catheter ndio mm-hmm. wa monte hiyo output mm-hmm. eh mm. so akaniambia ni sikunywe ya kitu kwanza mm. eh sikunywe mm. hata maji mm. eh ndio okay. angalie kwanza output ya mkojo yenye inatoka 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 mm. so kufikia hapo mm kuna hiyo ka, kadhi tazaza ndio inaletwa mm. so akaangalia mm. sasa ni asubuhi mm. no ni kurudisha nyuma kidogo hapo saa saba saa nane mm. sasa nikabukiwa mm. for admission kwa ward mm. nikapelekwa general ward mm. na nikalala sasa hiyo nimewekwa kadhi ta nimepewa nguo za hospitali yeah. eh okay so kuenda kwa ward mm sasa hiyo unajua sasa catheter imewekwa mm. you feel so weak mm. eh juu lazima itoe mkojo direct from the blood okay so nataka ku cut short mm-hmm. ndo mtu aelewe mm-hmm. eh sasa after umekaa hapa 2 months mm-hmm. umetibiwa mm-hmm. after that ulienda wapi nilitoka nikaenda nyumbani okay mm. after sasa nyumbani what happened next mm sasa kuna hizo catheters hiyo mm. catheter niliwekewa temporary mm. ndio cause mine was treated as emanches okay. so hiyo kuna temporary catheter iliwekwa mm. so niende dialysis mm. again to be booked for mm. no i was booked for mm. sasa ni after 2 months sasa oh after two, no mm. yani hapo nyuma mm. after nimeenda kwa ward unajua lazima niende dialysis okay. i have to be booked for dialysis mm ndio hizi crate nine wazi wazitoa haraka okay. so is booked for three sessions okay. eh four hours each okay. three sessions so okay. unakaa kwa machine for like 
four hours mm. unaenda unapumzika unakula ama unakunywa chai unarudishwa tena unarudishwa mm. unatolewa tena wakimonta mm. ndio reduce kidogo okay for, for these two months nani analipa bill ya hospitali hiyo mm. bill ya hospitali mm. eh, okay nilikuwa nafanya kazi kidogo mm. alafu pia familia mm. eh, like bill ilikuwa like how much bill ili, ilifika 268 268 yenye nakumbuka mm. but tulikuwa tunalipa in bits oh. walikuwa wanasema hii wiki mlipe 60 hii mm. wiki hivyo 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 oh. walisema hizo nini ugoje ya figo mm. si ugoje itapona kesho ama kesho kutwa yeah. ni kitu itakula pesa na itaendelea sawa nice ume umetoka sasa wote umerudi nyumbani mm. after hapo what happened after hapo mm after ni medistajiwa mm. hiyo hiyo story ya kadhaa hata nilikuwa nakuelezea mm. i had regular clinics na juu lazima uende urudi tena dialysis mm. every monday and thursday mm. kutoka 20 hiyo i was discharged at august 2 mm. 2021 mm. eh mm. so kufikia nyumbani naona sasa daktari mm. they have to be monitoring you yeah. ndio alafu pia lazima uende dialysis every, so, every week monday mm. twice monday and thursday, thursday. okay eh mm. so kuenda hivi wakiangalia mm. flows za catheter kama catheter ime block mm. kama catheter ime iko na shida okay. ama iko na issue mm. eh mm. ana pia waangalie mm vile hii urea mm. urea vile ina teremka ni na behave au is the great nine yeah. eh, na pia waniangalie mm. ndio pia mambo na diet okay mm. okay Uka, sa hizo unaenda wote from home to mm. hotel every mm. monday and thursday mm. eh, for sessions okay. two sessions and each you pay how much 8500 8500 and is a must ni lazima ndio hiyo ndio hiyo ndio kidney yangu so lazima ulipie Mm, hiyo machine lazima ulipie tu mm. ndio artificial kidney yako. Okay. Eh, na usipoenda mm. yule inapanda pia utarudi ile. Mm. Eh, unaona sasa ulikuwa umepona pona. Mm. Ita, sasa ita, ita, itarudi tena hiyo accumulation juu ya hizi machakula watu wanakula. Mm. Na pia sometimes unajua mtu anakuanga na stress. Mm. Eh kitu kama hizo. You've shared me a story that uh, kuna wakati ilifika uko joy, kuna wakati ilifika macho ayoni, mm-hmm. kuna wakati ilifika ukaanza kutembea na inaitwa je? Scratches. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, can, can you share the story? Eh, sasa juu ya dialysis. Mm-hmm. Okay, dialysis inasaidia anga mtu mwenye ako na shida ya figo. Mm-hmm. But juu ni machine mm-hmm. na Mungu hakuumba mwili wako utumiange machine. Mm-hmm. Eh, so inafikia mahali mm. unapata hii mashini na ku drain naelewa mm. hii ni mashini au ni mwili mm. so the moment nimekaa kwa hiyo machine for it's now 2.1 years mm. yeah mm. from i think hiyo kutoka nitoke kutoka nipeleko sasa mpaka leo sasa mm. hata sasa hivi ndivyo nimetoka mm kwa hivyo hiyo machine huwa mm. kuna vile uwe inakufanya ukue inatoa yani inakufanya ukue weak mm. in that inatoa inaweza unapata uko weak au una kuna hizo au una nguvu mm. some nutrients in the body zimechukuliwa na machine mm. Mm. so that's why una unaongea tu pole pole utaki ku strain sana eh. hope you understand that yu ndio nimetoka huko eh. nastaki sasa kitoka hapa nitaenda tu kulala kidogo Hmm. So sasa ilifika wapi ukapoteza ukaacha kuona ukaacha kukojoa juu ya hii machine hmm. hii machine ina juu inavuta damu inatoa anga hmm. damu kwa mwili inaosha yote eh kirudi hivi 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 now for two years hmm. every monday and thursday hata watu wanadhani ngi mimi ni daktari <laughs> so naona hiyo kuenda hospitali Monday Thursday watu wanadhani mimi ni daktari <laughs> hata wengine wananitanga kila daktari. Monday unatoleangwa damu yote kwa mwili inaoshwa unarudishwa inarudishwa narudi tena Thursday kama leo nimetoka huko mm. 
So unaona hiyo damu inatolewa 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 unaoshwa. So now you tend to be weak. Na kuwa weak unapata mifupa aina zile nutrients and other body components. Okay. Kama calcium yenye inakuanga mzuri kwa mifupa. So it happened that uh, nilikuwa natembea tu and nikasikia tu out of nowhere kitu ati nime miguu ime ime dislocate dislocation of the pelvis okay. eh, so nikaanza kutembea na hizo ma crutches okay. so kutoka hapo but before miguu i had lost my eyesight due to high blood pressure okay eh yenye pia hii mashine unajua inatoa damu inarudisha inarudisha so mambo mengi yeah. so nikapoteza macho yote mm. but right now right now macho imerudi eh imerudi rudi naweza soma kitu kitu tu mm. so ukapata hiyo macho imeenda kabisa mm. kufika eh, nikasema sasa hiyo nilikuwa nyumbani nikasema acha nikuje nirudi nitoke hiyo dialysis ya makuene ni kuje huku kitengela nirudi kitengela ni kuje ku sort mambo ya macho jo macho ndio kila kitu nikaenda Kinyata Kinyata wakaniambia kuna hospitali iko hapa Gong Road ni tangwa CTI hapo along Gong Road kuna hospitali iko hapo nikaenda hao ndio walinitibu washukuru sana sasa hii nikafanywa surgery both eyes kudungwa sindano tukatwa kudungwa sindano kwa macho ndani what eh so nika macho ika ikaendelea endelea na ikakuwa sawa at least saa hii naiona but kukiwa na light mingi inakusumbua eh kama sunlight mm. inanisumbuanga sana okay mm. sa what about ya kutembea nayo ilifika aje ukaanza kutembea tena ya kutembea ni hiyo nilikuwa natembea tu nikitoka kwa nyumba ile tu hivi ni walk eh yeah. so kufikia hapo nika nikasikia ai dislocation mm. nika hapa tu kwa kiuno mm. nini okay. kuna dislocation so ai nikabidi nikaita watu wani mm. waninue mm. nikaenda hospitali x-ray wakaniambia niko na kitu inaitwa pelvis dislocation okay. so kutokea hapo mm ndio nikaanza kutembea na hizo crutches but at least nikikaa sana chini ama nikisimama sana so, nasikianga ikiuma uma uma ama nikitembea tembea mm. but ndio maana huwa na balance nasimama na tembea na tembea bibi tu okay eric tukirudi side nyingine you have told me like kukunywa maji kwako si rahisi eh yeah, maji maji sikunywani maji sikunywani kabisa ni ile tu eh yeah, uwezi kunywa ju the more umekunywa hii maji hakuna mali inaweza tokea eh yeah, hakuna una utafura na ukifura ni kitu mbaya sana kwa mtu wa dialysis eh yeah. yeah, ama hiyo maji inakuanga mbaya sana In, kuna kuwa, kuna kuanga na kitu inaitangwa fluid flow mm. eh na overload okay. eh yeah. hiyo sasa fluid flow fluid flow load like like for how long for how long hujakunywa maji kwa maisha yako eh hii mwaka sasa hujakunywa maji tuseme mwaka mmoja kutoka last year so daktari amekwambia ile maji kwa chakula hiyo inatosha hiyo imetosha hata saa zingine dawa lazima umeze na ugali ama mboga Mm. So ukikunywa maji mtu wa dialysis huwa mm. inaingia kwa kifua inarudi kwa large na ukipata unapata uwezi kuvuna vizuri okay hiyo ni nitangwa fluid overload ebu ebu kwa faida ya mtazamaji kuna mtu atauliza eh hii damu inatoleangwa inato, wapi ikioshwa ikirudishwa kwa mwili can we see hiyo damu kwa dialysis wewe inatolewa kwa kitu inaitangwa catheter. No no no, uliza sasa kwa mwili. Oh. Mm. Kuna catheter iliwekwa hapa mm. kwa kifua na daktari yuko. Ime ime stay hapo for how long? For iliwekwa hiyo siku nilienda huko. Hiyo siku nilienda. Uh, Umezona? Mhm. Uh-huh. Unafungua tu kidogo tu. Mhm. Hizo sasa ndizo hizi pipe zimeingia kwa. Hizi pipe zimeingia kwa mwili. Eh. Hizo ni pipe hizi kwa hapo na mtu hawezi jua. Mhm. Eh pole yake. Eh huwezi jua. Mm. Mm. Right now Eric umeniambia ukifanyiwa transplant mm-hmm. 
hichi itaisha mm. na transplant ni very expensive mm. na the best thing unafanywa tu hapa Kenya hospitali inaitwa aje eh inaitangwa mpisha yenye nimechoose oh. eh, but sasa since i have the donor unajua mm. watu wengine wanakuanga na hiyo pesa mm. Na wanaweza funga, unaweza funga sasa. Na wana dona. Au kuna mwenye anakupea? Eh. Unaona hmm. unakuanga na wanakuanga na nini? Unaweza kuwa na hiyo pesa lakini una dona mwenye anayo. Eh, na mwingine akona dona na ana hiyo pesa. Na una hiyo pesa. So wewe kwa mwenye uko na dona na una hiyo pesa. Eh, sasa hmm. ndio maana hmm. eh I chose wanakuambianga you should have an hospital of your choice. Hmm. So eh, kuna rafiki yangu tulikuwa tuna dialysis na yeye. Hmm akitengela west yeah. alienda huko okay, yeah. akafanyiwa transplant ikakuwa sawa ikakuwa successful na wewe nao wako sawa kabisa ako sawa mm. na nikaenda kumuona after transplant na alipona eh na ako sawa oh nice eh mm. but huyo uh, alikuwa pia na zote mm. eh his brother na pia alikuwa na hiyo pesa mm. so yake ili mm. alifanyiwa to 5th of eh, 5th of december last mm. year mm. Mm. so eh, ina cost kama pesa ngapi eh. kwa wenye umeniambia ungependa sana wakusaidie mm. eh, sasa kulingana na vile liambiwa na vile niliona hiyo jamaa mm. kuna vitu zinaitangwa okay na from the nephrologist and the other medics mm. uh, kuna vitu zinaitangwa pre transplant workups ndio mm. hiyo damu ya ya dona na yako ziweze ku match mm. na vitu zingine wanapimanga hapo they are so expensive mm. eh, kuna hiyo vile nimekuambia kuna pre transplant mm. workups mm. ama test mm. kuna the transplant itself mm. na kuna post transplant unajua hii ni hii ni figo ya mtu amekupea mm. so lazima ui ni manage so ndio tukaona hizo vitu zote zikiwa tatu pre transplant transplant itself na post transplant sasa ku manage cause you will be on thorough checkups weekly na kuna dawa za hiyo kidney zinakuanga expensive mm. eh yeah. mm. dose inakuanga pesa mingi more than dawa za mwezi mmoja inakuanga more than 25000 eh kulingana na bila nimeulizia ulizia. Mm. Mm. Kuna mwingine pia tulikuwa na yeye makueni. Mm. But huyo nilikuwa nimempata huko. Mm. Pia yeye alienda kufanyiwa med hill. Mm. Eh, sasa mm. ni yeye at least unajua lazima upate hiyo information yote inahitajika nini. So tukapiga hesabu tunaona we need to raise around 4 million. 4 million. Yeah. Mm. Eh, remember okay. these are both kidneys. Okay. Eh. <laughs> si angalia ana kuzichunga. Na hizo madao. Eh. Okay. Eh, so Eric eh, guys Eric amesema kwa na shida ya kidney, the both kidneys na ameambiwa kienda kufanya transplant ni hivyo hivyo. Eh, Akifanya kidney transplant atakuwa sawa. Ameniambia alikuwa mkubwa zaidi ya hii, alikuwa mweupe lakini as you can see sasa hizi ako black. Akunywangi maji, uko joangi si ndio? For two years foto hii za jakojoa mm. na yani akona is going through a lot mm. amesoma university na after tu kumaliza university immediately shida ikaanza right now anataka kwenda kufanywa hiyo kidney transplant na it needs 4 million inafanywa tu hapa Kenya mpisha so kama uko hapo tu na unaweza msaidia Eric watu wanaweza kusaidia through kuna tibi na pia mwenye anaweza taka kunipigia simu mm. eh mm. tutampea namba yangu unaweza zipeana zote eh namba yangu ni 07 mm. 27 mm. 97 mm. 26 20 mm. okay 07 27 mm. 97 mm. 26 mm. 20 what about the pay bill pay bill ni 805 mm. 6471 mm. 805 6471 mm. uh, account Eric okay mm. so pia mimi nitaenda hapo kwa comment section I'll pin I'll pin his number I'll pin the the payable number pia and the account amesema payable ni hiyo amesema then account ni jina yake just Eric Eric tukimalizia mm-hmm. right now hizo pesa wewe unatoa wapi za kulipa hiyo hiyo weekly nini mm. najua 
Najua unasemanga Mungu pia yupo. God provides. Mm. Uh, that's what I believe. Uh, and ever since ni kuwe mgonjwa. Before sasa NHIF yangu ikuwe inaweza simamia. Kuna marafiki tu walikuwa na offer. Or right now you are doing it through NHIF. Uh, sometimes but at uh, times mm. inaweza kataa. Maybe oh. yalipo uh, naona. Okay. Mm. Okay. So una, unasema mm. enye utapata utalipia NHIF ndio. Mm. Next time pia ikawe hiyo issue. Oh. Eh. Yeah. Well, I think for today naweza kuachia hapo Jumia niambia hata pia kuongea yako mingi ina ina kuchosha pia sitting position umeona tumesumbuka sana lazima akae hivi juu saa hizi ametoka uliingia saa 9 uliingia 4 am 4 am asubuhi mm-hmm. nimemchukua hapo kitu I think 12 of 11 ndo tumekuja tufanye hii interview mm-hmm. then guys kama tu unaweza msaidia unaweza reach out through your number ama unaweza tuma your contribution through that number. Eric, sisi tunakutakia upone, mm. tunakutakia upate hiyo pesa, okay. ufanyiwe transplant, mm. urudi tena ufanye kazi yako. I know you are a young man. Yeah. So we wish you the best mm. and I'm very sure with God everything will be okay. Your last word to your people here. Tunataka mm. kuambia naweza waimiza tu pia tuchungane na lifestyles. Unajua magonjwa mengi ya siku hizi ni mambo na lifestyles. Eh cause at first unaenda hospitali unaambiwa uko na hii shida na imeletwa na hii. So at least to check hapo kwa mambo na lifestyle. Okay. Eh na pia tukunye maji. Sawa <laughs> sawa. Eh tukunye maji kama figo yako iko sawa. Okay. Maji inasaidianga figo sawa so, sawa so. uh, the more may fanya ikue active dehydrated mm. the more unaipea kazi mingi unaona na unaipea kazi ngumu mm. eh mm. so lakini ukiwa na maji kwa mwili at least itafanya kazi mm. eh ni utafanya kazi yake vitu vizuri okay. eh. so i think for today that's the end eric amewaimiza tungana na vitu nakula tungana na vitu nakunywa na then ya muhimu amewaambia make sure umekunywa umekunywa maji mingi sana so guys please let's stand with eric that's it for today till next time bye bye